Hello my sexy sausages and welcome back to another video. Now before this does begin make sure that you have actually seen my video on how to use permissions on your server because we'll be needing those permissions in order to actually make this work correctly. And guys make sure that you are in fact operator of your server. If you've not seen either of these videos I have put links in the description and at the top right hand corner so you can go watch those before you watch this one. Now there are a few plugins that we're actually going to need. Firstly we're going to need a plugin called Xconomy. This allows us to get some sort of banking system up and running. Secondly we'll need to install quick shop this will allow you to create in-game shops so that you can sell and buy items and thirdly because quick shop needs a plugin called vault in order to work correctly we'll be using that too to install these plugins all you need to do is come over to your Atomos server now guys once you are here what you need to do is go over to where it says software click it once in here guys you can choose a paper bucket or spigot bucket I've just found that paper bucket works better but it's just up to you whichever one you want to use click it now guys you're gonna need to choose your version I'm gonna use 1.18.1 because that is the latest version if you are in the future you are one lucky sausage and you might be using like 1.2 20. I'm just going to go for 1.18.1. .1. Click it. Now guys, click yes or click the download icon up here. Wait for the gear icon to stop turning and boom. Once you have to tick, guys, what you want to do is go to plugins. Click plugins. It's to make sure that you go up to here and search for Xconomy. Oh, not me. It's pretty strange. Just click enter. And now then, guys, as you can see, we've got this one right here, Xconomy. Go ahead and click Xconomy. Click it. And now you can click download. We have the gear icon to stop turning. And then, guys, once you have the tick, you're good to go. What you want to do is go ahead and search for quick, quick shop. Click enter. And now then, guys, there's quite a few little ones here. Do not choose quick soup. It's not quite the same thing as a shop. But what you want to do now is go ahead and click quick shop re remake. And click that. Go ahead and choose the top one. Click the download icon, wait for the gear icon to stop turning. And then guys, once you have the little tick, you need to go ahead and download Vault. Search for Vault, and now then guys, there's quite a few little Vault ones here. You can choose this one or this one, it's completely up to you. Remember guys, this one's Spigot and this one's Bucket. So Bucket is more general, so I'm going to go for that one. So now then guys, what you want to do is go ahead and choose the top one that's right here. Go ahead and click download, wait for the gear icon to stop turning. And now then guys, once you have the tick, there's one more thing that we're going to need. As you guys did see in the last video, um, not the last video, but in the actual video about permissions, we also need luck perms. That's going to allow you to actually have permissions. All you want to do is go ahead and click this one right here. Click it. Now then guys, go for the latest version, click the download icon, click the gear icon, well, wait for the gear to stop turning, and now then guys, once you have the tick, there's one last thing that we're going to need. See, we have everything currently. We have permissions, we have um, uh, sort of like a banking system, we have a way to create shops. There's one thing we're missing, how to actually get the money. So now then guys, my favourite way of doing this is to actually do it so you have to kill mobs in order to earn money. Like, could you imagine how rich you'd get if you actually made yourself a farm? Like, that, that would just be phenomenal. What this plugin is going to be called is Money for mobs. I mean, like, look at that, how swag that is. There's mob cash, money for mobs, mine packs, and mob cash. You guys can easily go for money for mobs. You guys can go for any of these, but I'm going to go for this one because it's the one I've been using. Go for the latest version and click download. With the gear icon to stop turning, and now then, guys, once you have that little tick, what you want to do is go over to server. Now, guys, you're going to want to start your server. Click yes, I accept the Eula, and click OK. Now, guys, do not go just yet because there are quite a few things we still need to get on with. And so, guys, now then, my server is just preparing. I will meet you inside of Minecraft. Remember, this is 1.18.1 .1, or whichever one that you are using. So, 3, 2, 1. Alright, and so guys, now that your Minecraft server is in fact up, all you want to do is come over to where it says Minecraft, or on your Minecraft game, go to where it says Multiplayer, click Add Server, and paste in your server address here. This is, hold on, didn't copy it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Copy your server address, yes, that's good radar. Do it correctly, go full screen, good, there we go. Now, once you got it there, just go ahead and click done. But the guys is control, hold control and plus V to actually paste. Once you've done that, go ahead and click join server. Now, guys, I'll meet you once the server is up. All right, and so guys, now then, once you are inside of your server, what you need to do is make sure that you have permissions. And so guys, I'm just going to go ahead and give myself permissions. Again, if you do not know how to do it, make sure you go and watch my video on how to do permissions. So guys, I'll be back in just a second. So now then, guys, now that I'm a server operator, all you need to do is go ahead and type in slash LP editor. Once you've done that, guys, go ahead and you're going to get this link right here. Just click it. Click yes, I want to open this in another link. And so now then, guys, as you can see, we're going to have 
have our little page here. Now, um, what I'm going to do is you're going to need two groups, either the actual player and the actual group that you want to be allowed to sell stuff. So I'm going to have like um, two groups. I'm going to have the default player and I'm also going to have the seller. I'm going to call him the seller and the seller. Now guys, the seller is going to have a parent of the default because I want him to inherit everything the normal player can do. For example, if I want the actual normal player to be allowed to kill mobs and then earn money, I also want the seller to be able to do that. If I want the normal player to be allowed to use the shops and I like, buy stuff, I also want the seller to be able to do that. The only difference is the player cannot make a shop. That's what I'm going to do. Now click add a group. So now then guys, as you can see, we've got the two groups right here. First of all, with the default group, as you can see right here, the permissions that we're going to want to give them is, first of all, m4m dot reward money. What this does, it allows you, it allows the actual player to actually, once they kill a mob, they'll earn some money. And that is good. Now, the other thing that we want is we want a quick shop, quick shop dot use and click enter. So then guys, this is the one that we're going to be using. That's the one, quick shop dot use, click enter. So guys, now you've got these two right here, just go ahead and click add. So now this guy has both of these, which is extremely useful. So now so if, if we go over to the seller, right here, the seller has these two permissions, just its name, just ignore those. What the seller wants is now, the seller only needs one thing, seeing as he's already in inheriting everything from the default. What you want the seller to do is he wants to be allowed to quick shop Quick shop dot create and then dot asterisk like that and click enter and that is all you want him to do click add so now then guys this guy can create the shop and then he inherits everything this one has all you have to do is click save copy uh, click this and it'll copy it go back to your game and then just right uh, like control V to paste in here and click enter so now then guys there's been a few little changes if you type in LP list groups right and then click enter you have the two different groups there, but so far it says zero and zero because there's nobody in either group. What you want to do is put yourself in one of the groups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a seller by doing um, you no LP user I radar um, set parent or parent set, and then I'm going to make myself a seller and click enter. So now then, guys, I am currently a seller. Now, guys, before anything does happen, what you do want to do is a seller in order to sell stuff like the the, the shops. They are done in chests, so. What I need to do is I need to go ahead, I'm just going to give myself game mode um, creative quick so I can go to like a better place, hold on. Right, so what the seller needs is he needs obviously a chest. So he needs chests and quite a few chests in my opinion. So go ahead and get a couple of chests and then the actual item that you want to sell. For example, if I wanted to sell, say I want to sell some salt torches, I'm going to get some of those. And what I need to do, I need to be in survival, so I'm going to game mode survival, right? And so guys, as you know, I'm currently the seller. And what you generally need to do is place the chest down and then right, um, left click it as if you were to break it. But to prove to you that this is working, I'm going to go ahead and de-off myself because remember operators like um, operators have all power they can do absolutely anything so I'm going to go and de up myself I'm no longer a server operator as you can see I can no longer do game mode but what I can do is I can go ahead and jump up to this hit it and it says enter in chat how much you wish to trade one time soul torch for now guys remember everything inside this game is done in dollars so if I type in five it's gonna be enter and it costs ten to start a shop huh by the way guys if you type in slash balance you'll see how much money you currently have, and I have zero dollars. Now, Mr. Chicken, I'm afraid you're going to have to die because you're like the only way I can get money. So, um, yes, there we go. Balance. Right, so guys, it has come to my attention that sometimes the money for mobs uh, plugin doesn't always work. So what you simply need to do is just go ahead and restart your server. Well, I'm going to be back in a second once I have restarted my server. Right, and so guys, I have in fact gotten my game reloaded. My, my server restarted. We've got a creep right here. Let's see if it does work. Hello, buddy. Alright, so we're going to need to be able to find a way to actually <laughs> kill him without him exploding, because if he explodes, it's bad. No! Okay, yes. Just, yes, go away, go away. Don't blow, don't blow, no, 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 no. Okay, don't blow, don't blow, no, 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 no. Okay, yes. No! Go away! No, 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 no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you guys just, like, piss off? You too. Dead. Oh my god. Why is it- why are you guys taking so long to kill? No, 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 no! No! You're kidding me! My- uh, Why? What is- what? No! Hold on. Hey! 
Hey, we got some money. How about that, guys? But check this area out. This is really interesting. And I died. Oh, for Right, so guys, I currently have my bed, I have a couple of beds, and I have the chest. So what we need to do, as I'm currently the seller, I need to go ahead and place this down. So place that and hit it with a bed. How much do I want to trade the bed for? Well, let's do for $4. There we go. And now then, guys, remember to keep this stocked up, because it will not keep itself stocked up. So let's go pop all these guys in there. And so now then all these selling things and so if i were to actually become like a player i would not be able to create this shop but what you can do is you can hit it and you can buy stuff so if i go ahead and do like uh i'm gonna buy three beds click enter and now i just bought three beds guys and remember if you type in bal or balance you can see how much money you currently have and guys if you are feeling amazing and there's anything else you uh, do want to see like a thing i do plan on doing is actually doing the actual tab and even um many 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 other things thank you all so much for watching and goodbye.